Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I'm going to go and start doing some, well, immersive tech I think. So well, first of all, as you can see I've got a railway which is just beside me and it's actually dropping off stuff into this hopper here. So look at that hopper. I basically sent a hopper cart around here and I've got 24 of these ink sacks. It drops about one ink sack per journey and I don't know how many it's going to be picking up. Well, obviously if I can get it. Let's put the, there we go. Let's just fucking click it. It's got 16 in there. Oops. So we've got 25 in there now. So it just runs, it's going around. And it's, every time it picks it doesn't pick them all up, of course. Uh, any ones which are off the tracks don't get picked up. Doesn't matter much. We're getting ink sacks. Of course, this really needs to be chunk loaded. Well, I'm not going to be chunk loading it. I'm just going to be here. As you can see, it didn't pick up this. But ink sacks, I'm going to not ignore for the time being. Anyway. Now it's time to go back. All I've done here is use these. Uh, they're quite cheap, these power dime rails from better railroads. Uh, you, get, you get quite a few of those per... That's some block. <laughs> I had the water segment down here like that. Oh, it got stuck. Probably because I'm here. It's got 15. Right, it's gone the other way now. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the um, base. If I can actually get up my ladder, which seems to be a bit of a problem. Let's try again. And I'll see you over there. Well, I'm back at base again now. It's summertime, isn't it? Um, what I wanted to do... Oh, I didn't show you this, and I really should have done showed you this, actually. One of the things I did do with that was to do a switched um, circuit casing, didn't or a circuit. So I didn't show you how I did that. So look. This was the original switch circuit I basically created. So what I did is I had an input, which was then going to an AND gate. And then the output of the AND gate was going to the uh, straightforward not nor gate isn't it and then that was going back into the NAND gate so you could turn it off but in fact there's actually a lot easier design than that which I had to thought about when I first came to it because the first the clock one was all it was was just a, a not gate going backwards to itself so, so I came up with this design instead which was just simply a nor gate uh, a NAND gate instead of being an AND gate it was a NAND gate so it basically just <laughs> does the thing a little bit easier so that's the circuit I did for that and so now I moved these around here because I just I, oh they were too close and this has changed since the last time I did this these actually do move now so they're animated but I, of course I've got no power because I keep turning it off I don't want this thing to turn into a big pile of um, lava again so I just break it <laughs> um, and I have been making quite a lot of steel, as you can see. I've got quite a bit of pod steel here. I don't know why I'm getting pod steel. I have to be honest with you. Because let's break it and put it down. Because the, cause the, cause the, the blocks that caused it have disappeared now. So we can just break this and just put the dirt back again. And that keeps it, it keeps it clear. And what it also does, of course, it allows grass to grow again. So when we do, when we use the, the, um, the blast furnace again, it will just carry on and not, not make... That's some more over here. It makes lots and loads and loads of, gr of grass. As we can see, I've got some coal, coal cork in here. And what we're going to do is upgrade this thing today. So let's get on and do that. I haven't got anything in there, but I do have the materials I need somewhere about to um, make an assembler, assembling machine. So let's just break this. I should have checked if there's anything in it, but I think there isn't. Now to upgrade this, all we need to do is to do the same as we do for the um, for the furnace, and basically put steel plates on those. So I got the twenty-seven block, and we oh, we do need something else. Actually, I have to think about it. We need quite a lot of steel. I hope I've got enough steel because we have to. Yeah, I'll have a look at that in a second. As soon as we get back here, I should have the book. I haven't got the book with me, but I have got a bed. Actually, I should sleep in this bed because <laughs> every time I slept in it before, I was getting obscured home bed. So I was ending back at Worldspawn again when I died. Oh, I died another time because I fell off again. <laughs> right, so let's have a look. I need the steel plates. So we need to tur turn these into that. But hold on, where's the book? Here's the book here. So what we need to look at is immersive tech and everything's in this book as, as you can see. So we need to do the advanced coke oven. So we need 27 of these. Let's have a look at the things. Actually we need 18 reinforced top bricks. Okay. One hopper and nine 
sheet steel sheet metal so we do need some of that so let's get nine sheet metal first of all let's have a look i've forgotten the recipe for that i think it's six will give us that i've got at the moment i've got 54 steel plates so let's have a look at the uses of these there we go so we need nine of these that'll probably be all right we can get those again I'll just do that again if i'll do it manually this time and then we need 18 so i've got i wanted to keep 27 for the other for the blast furnace so that's good that just works out about nice we've got one extra steel plate so we can then put these two together and we get yeah reinforced coke bricks so we so we've got these extra sort of nine here in fact i think i haven't got enough of i need another one of these all right i'm going to make some more of these i need to make three more at least so we've got some steel here i think so i'll make three of one of those and we'll just get one more set of this where's it gone to do the, let's do it this way so we actually have 12. yeah i've probably got some more elsewhere it's night time i shall come back in a second when it's daytime right i'll just go and put these three pieces into the press over here and get some more plates and that'll, that'll, that'll be the 27 for the blast for the advanced blast furnace i probably won't make that maybe i do i don't know we'll we'll have a look certainly the, the advanced coke but we need one more thing we need a hopper don't we i think that was what it says so let's just get a hopper out. So I need a chest, and I should have some plenty of chests in there. I should have, yes, 19. And some ingots of iron, so we just, there should be plenty of those in here as well. That's too many, but never mind. So we have a hopper, and I think that's what we need for this. Let's we'll double check it now. So we need hey, everything I've got, it tells me here. So let's go and set it up where we have the other place. Now I don't know which is the front one, this is, to be honest with you. I suspect that you can feed it in the. I'll tell you what, we'll put the steel sheets at the back. I didn't bring the projector with me. I'm not even sure whether the projector would work with this. I suspect it will do. Trundle over down back over here. It's a bit of a way now, isn't it? I'm, I actually. When we come to do the next one, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a lot easier then. So we need, I think, just three of these down like this, don't we? Let's get those in hand. Of course, now I've got no space for the hop. I have to break a hole in the top of this, but that's no big deal. So I've got those three extra, and then I've got these reinforced coke bricks, 18 of those, so we'll just put those in front. Just wondering about this. I think the middle will be this block here, won't it? Let's break it out. Yeah, that looks good. In fact, I'm looking a bit too close to this, aren't I? So what I'm going to do is move everything across one. move that stuff across and come around to the other side yeah this is what we need I probably could use the, the big hammer but you know sometimes you lose stuff when you use the hammer so let's let's just try it and see if we'll do any lose anything no I think I'm all right this time reinforced coat bricks and just on the other side there should be one more piece ah here we are the three pieces are missing from here so let's get these uh, six of these that's right so all we have to do now is put the hopper in the middle i can actually get up here if i get on it so the hopper should be around about here i think do you know what i think i've forgotten as usual of course i always have to forget something don't i that's probably the hammer the immersive engineers hammer let's put that down like that and i'll put this dirt back over here i'm not sure whether i need dirt anymore because of the changes to pollutions of the realm um you need less dirt so but i do need to hit this with a hammer let's have a look if i got it in my backpack no i haven't just quickly go and get one and come back in a second so i've got my hammer i wonder if it does click it like that and it's done now, of course this thing needs preheaters on to actually work faster but I guess for the time being it'll be happy enough working 
without that but i can feed stuff in the top of it and i guess we can take stuff out of it now as well and probably not the best place to have this now is it let's move can i move it out no i can't tell you what it's a chest over here let's just move the stuff out of that that i don't need anymore i'll keep those with me of course because i'll probably need those later on the bucket and the thing so we'll get rid of that stuff and then we can break this table quite happily and that'll be the output i guess there's an input on the top let's go and have a look if i can get up to it now oh, yes we can and it looks like it really is an input into there so let's go and get some uh coal and test it out see if it works i'm not sure whether this pollution produces pollution because the other coke furnace the basic one doesn't produce any any pollution so maybe with this one as well we don't produce any or maybe we do i just have no idea i've never done it before so there's a stack that'll let's let's take two stacks just in case it t allows me to do more now i haven't done anything with the piping that's a good question i wonder where that's going to come out of this now i'm going to have to move this ah we'll have to find out won't we so otherwise it's going to get filled up with um uh creosote isn't it so let's just put those into there and i, I can't do it it doesn't let me do it so, so that says two percent so it's going to take its time and i don't actually mind it taking its time i don't need any cold cook at the moment but obviously to put this in i've got to power it up and maybe i've got to move this thing i guess i to be honest with you i don't know where we're going to put this ah what's that for <laughs> you know i don't know tell you what we'll do let's put the chest down here that's orange that generally means it's an output let's have a look how's it doing in here did tell me the percentage at the top of this i suppose it's going to be slow isn't it so look let's go back up here and 54 percent i got a feeling that's going to do that while that's doing that i'm just break this one like that place it back again so maybe we can take the liquid out of the front of it tell you what let's try because we're definitely going to heat the sides so we're going to put heaters on the sides um and the front i don't know yet we'll tell you what we've got a chest here let's just put the let's just put this table back again near to this because that's where i've been making the um treated wood so let's take the wood out of here and then just put this around the outsides of this i think it was 42 wasn't it I don't need it there for the time being. Then we'll take this chest here. Well, the reason of emptying that, of course, was to empty out this chest. And then put the chest here. I'm going to put it at the front to find out which which side this stuff comes out of. 63. So it has come out the front. And I'm stuck, can't get past that. <laughs> so maybe the back is for the um, fuel. I can't get past, why not? Because it's just the way. Brilliant. I'll tell you what, I'll go around the long way. Yeah, nothing's in here. I guess that's for the I guess that's for the um liquids. So let's just try that. Whether or not I can I'm sure I'm gonna have to use the pump, but I haven't got enough cable with me at the moment. So let's break this. I've got to be careful, I don't want to break the tank up. I've done this a few times, broken the tank, and it's really irritating when you break the tank, because then you lose all of the liquids you've got in there. Right, good. So let's just see if I can put the pipe uh, the pipe on there. I'm going to have to go back down one block, aren't I? So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see if we can put the pump onto this thing. And then we can come out the sides. So let's just take the hammer make sure this is an input side an output side we want don't we that's input and that's output on the other side of course let's press shift so there's no connection so we want that as an input 
and it's night time I'm going to quickly make some more piping and I'll come back in a few seconds so I've got some pipe now let's just run the pipe down through down the back of here into this thing of course I'll need to put a lever on the on the pump let's have a look how much fluid have we got in here it tells me about the coke oven empty you know I wonder if it's producing creosote <laughs> You know, I don't know what it's producing, Chris. Let's have a look in this one. 91 buckets. So it's got no pump on this, so it can't be pumping it out of it unless it's actually hiding inside this. I've got a lever with me, though. Let's put a lever on it. Turn it on. 91 buckets. So maybe this needs power in order for that to work. We can test it out because those, those pre-eaters, I don't want to use I probably will need to use them. Because what we've got to do is take the um, coal cokes it's producing and make graphite out of those. So we need to make some hop ingots, I think they're called, in order to power the uh, uh, arc furnace. So let's have a look at this. So the, these are the preheaters that we need to make. Now I think I've actually got the stuff prepared for these. Yeah, I actually have got the stuff prepared for this. Let's just make one and see how that works. I'm going to need some power, and I'm pretty sure at the moment I haven't got anything here. It's, it, do you know where it is? It's all in the, in the jungle base, because that's where I'm setting up the other stuff. And you also notice it's Christmas time, so all of the immersive engineering so now, uh, crates have got, have got Christmas trees on them and, read, and wrapped up nicely, aren't they? Well, it's not quite Christmas, but it's coming on that way, isn't it? Really fast. So let's see if I can attach one of these to this like that. Now, I don't know which way this is going to go, but I'll just right-click it and see what happens. Right-click it. Okay, that looks that looks like that's correct. So I just need to get some cabling. Now, do we have a power source that's <laughs> near enough? Well, there's one over there. I'm going to have to bring one over there. So I'll be back in a few seconds when I've got all the bits I need ready. Well, I've got the bits. i put up my lantern up here. Anyway, it's dark in this corner, so it's not a bad idea to put a lantern here in the first place. So let's just get some cables and just cable this up quickly. That should be within range, I think. Yeah, fantastic. Now I can just connect this to that now. So let's need the connector, smooth the chisel out of there. I was using the chisel to make the to make this um, post. So we just connect this one up. Hopefully, it does connect. Great. Now, that's got power, but does it look like it's working? I don't know whether they're animated anyway, these things. Let's have a look at this thing. Is it actually going any faster? Do you know, I don't know whether it's going any faster. Oops, that's a nice, nice bit of lag. Oh, I'd say that was definitely going a bit faster, wouldn't you? Look at the Coke Oven Advanced thing there. It says it's here but I don't see any creosote coming out of that. Let's have a look at the book again see if it actually tells us anything about the book. So an advanced multiplex structure that allows a player to produce coal coke and creosote oil faster so it should do it. The structure is built above and we hammer the book as we did already. So it allows the automation of the inputs and outputs which can be outfitted with heat preheaters to speed up the process by ad additionally adding hot air. So the first Okay. Similar to the improved blast furnace, skull coat and put some of the front and the creosote oil at the back. Coal coke is thread through the top. Uh, coal is thread through the top. So I've got it right. We make the preheaters to speed up the refinement process. We've done that already. And uh, they need 20, 32 RF flux per tick to operate. That might be strange my power generation numbers it seems to be okay so that seems to be going faster now so there should be creosote oil coming out of this so that says 90 oh yes it's going look it's going up there we see it so it's working just perfectly fantastic right i think uh that's working so the next thing to upgrade would be this thing so we're going to go and do this as well i think we'll upgrade that Let's remove the cold coke and all I need to do with this is just 27 plates, isn't it? And, uh, and another 
Anthem hate pre-eaters, but maybe we don't need to worry about pre-eaters for the time. Let's break it down. And I've got the chimney. <laughs> the chimney's there. The two chimneys are there. Uh, but I'm not quite sure why we're getting um, pods still from those. That's a bit of a problem. Anyway, so I'll quickly go and make this stuff up. In fact, and I need a hopper. So the only thing I need was a hopper, didn't I? If I remember it rightly, and then we can simply automate this. Um, I'll be back in a second when everything's prepared. Ah, I've got all of those now. So probably what I'm going to do is remove some of this dirt, because I probably don't need the dirt anymore. But I, I think now, because of the movement of the pollution, it doesn't matter. We don't have to have it directly above the thing. So I'm just going to remove these. I've already moved the um, the other bit, uh, the roof. We don't need the roof anymore. I'll just do that and I'll take this one space away because that's going to have to move across one here and don't need this heater here so that's where the heat will be so we'll put down the blast furnace down here maybe I have to if I got my builders wand with me I might have actually it probably isn't in there but I have also got um, my backpack which I forgot because I've got my hammer in here Oh no, I haven't got my builder's wand with me. Let's like, oh, let's have a look. There we are. So let's just do the. You don't have the right block. I do actually have the right block. Maybe it's just because it's in the wrong hand. Let's just move that back again. Yeah. Um, okay, try again. What did I just do? Oh, I just pressed F, didn't I? Let's press F again. That works, yes. So it does have to be in the right hand. So this one I've got to remove because otherwise it won't work. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, let's climb up to the top, just jump up I think, we'll see if it works, yeah. So that's that one, and then we, lastly we need to put the the block, now I just have to climb up here, so I've got some stone, well actually detract bricks up here, let's just go up and do that. And I'm going to have to remove this stuff as well, so let's just do this, get everything out of the way, have I got space, yes I have. And that one of course I haven't can't stack these things anymore so I'll just go <laughs> because uh, they're all slightly different so that's the one slight problem there so I'll tell you what I'll do I'll just go down here and put those into this chest in here like that all three of them so they all have different fullnesses but then none of them were actually full so I'm a bit puzzled as to why that happened let's put down another block here I wish you to walk up here and then we put the hopper in the middle You've probably seen this a million times anyway, so there's nothing new in this one. But at least we've got our hammer with us, so we can do the hammering. It's a bit, the bit one out, my hammers. And there we go. Oh, so we've made an advancement by doing that one. And again, we can put into the top here stuff as we did the previous time, and they take it out. So now we just need to put some preheaters on those. I'm not going to bother doing that for the time being. That was a bit fast. That was actually far too fast. Let's just uh, put these down here. And I'm I'm sure this will make pollution, but I'm not sure how much and where it's going to come out and where we can put the um, the chimneys. Let's, let's tell you what we'll try. We'll try putting the chimneys down here. I've got two granite chimneys. Which sort of I'm not sure. I prefer the stone ones. I think. Let's just put one on here like this. Let's see if it smokes. If it doesn't smoke, then we're in for a chance that it's actually... Um, let's try another one on the side. Let's try them on the side here, because the only place we can put them is here, I think. Yeah, they're not smoking, so maybe it doesn't produce pollution. I certainly can't put one at the top, because that's where we go into it. And there are these to the two sides here, OK. So I'll tell you what, let's go and just try it out. We've got some cold coat now, so we're, and that's going a little bit faster. Let's just go and get some iron, and I'll be back in a second when I've got the iron. So, I've got iron now, so, I'm, so I can put some iron into this. I've got 64 iron, probably actually they're my last 64 iron as it happens. Let's get some coal coke out of here. Why is that taking slow down? It's got power, I think. Yep. Everything's looking hunky-dory, so to speak. So let's put some coal coke into here and see if it makes pollution. Or if it's going to be clean. Yeah, it's your... Oh! Now that did come out of here. Where did that come out of? Because normally these things used to smoke. So let's go and get a 
couple of these. Let's run some of those two full ones. These two, I'll take these two empty ones. I'll put those on the top here. Now, can I get up on here to put these on? So I put, I'm going to put on two on top of each other. The reason I'm going to do that is because if the one one of these gets full, it goes orange. Oh, there's another one here. I wonder if that's doing stuff as well. I'll tell you what, let's just jump down again. That's you know I got up there. Let's take the other one of these and put that onto the onto the onto the granite one. Let's see if that actually smokes as well. Because they used to smoke. This is working, isn't it? Yes, slowly because it's got no power. Hmm. Well, that's a challenge. Oh yes, that's definitely working through that one. I don't know whether the other one's actually working as well. So they still do produce pollution. So when of these one of these gets full, it goes yellow. So it's an indication to you have to go and repair it. Repairing is not that difficult. I think we've covered that already. Now that's it for this episode, except for one last thing, of course. So let's let's go and have a look at that first of all. Is the bees? We haven't looked at the bees today. It's just that common one I'm trying to crossbreed. And I did move this stuff so, so it was actually in front of where I'm working. Now, of course, I'm working somewhere else, so it's not in front of me anymore. <laughs> so have a look what we've got this time. So we've got another two common drones and a Meadows Princess. Now, have I got my analyzer with me? No, I haven't. Let's, but it probably is very near because I'm pretty sure I've got it with me somewhere. You know, I didn't think about looking for that. Let's press... Uh, We've got any spaces in my inventory? Not a space, brilliant. Can I make some space in my inventory? Doesn't look like I can. I'll tell you what I can do, I can do this. Yeah, I'll put this away. I'll put the chisel back on the on the hooks here, so to speak. So I put the chisel. So we've got one space left now. Fantastic. So what I needed to do with that was to make space for the, the backpack. So let's just Put the backpack down and there's the analyzer good so let's analyze these three bees so that's a pure meadows interesting and it's got an inactive slower property that's a common meadows which is also the same thing and this one is a common common so we've done it so that's it now we can simply produce common bees from there because in the in the chest here we have already got a common princess which was uh so let's put those two two into that and make sure I've got the right one. That's the common drone. But he does have different properties, and this is the next step. I'm going to move these two out of the way. It's actually lucky because it was really was the end of the. That's the common. Common meadows, and that's the meadows princess. So we should have the pristine one here. So if we analyse these two again, because we've already analysed these ones, you'll see that here it's got fertility and average are the two properties here. And this one has basically it's got a slower pollination, but that's better than slowest. Um, and I think that's the only thing we'll ever get in these. We don't have any uh, of these other characteristics coming through. The only one that that does that was the um, Valiant Bee. So crossbreeding these with Valiant Bees to get the stuff up, levels up, was actually quite a good idea. So now we're going to get just pure common drones from this. So that part of the exercise is completed. So the only thing that you have to do with that now is to determine what property you want. So we'll have a look at those maybe next time. So that's it for this episode. Next time we're going to make the big machines. All, everything's prepared, the space is prepared, it's just a question of putting them up. And I'll use the projector for that. Because there's one or two tricks with the projector that I didn't fully understand at the beginning. Uh, and it's quite good fun. Anyway, till next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.